My name's Jen Jewell, and I work at the main library at Richmond Public Library. I'm the young adult coordinator, which means I do all things related to middle and high school teens. And today I'm going to bring to you a new episode of Full Steam Ahead. Uh, we're going to be making some origami crowns, and I'm gonna teach you how to make three different kinds. The first one we're gonna make is this super simple crown um, that I'll show you. The second one is a little more challenging and looks like this. And the third most challenging, but I think the most fun, is this crown right here um, with the pointier tips. So stick with me and I'll show you what to do. For our supplies today, we actually really only need one thing, and that is origami paper. I have here a whole pack of emoji origami paper. You can get any kind. You can even cut printer paper to fit. Um, you'll just wanna make sure that it is six inches by six inches. Now, the first crown that we're gonna make is a little less sturdy, so you might also want to have some tape in addition just to make it a little more secure. But other than that, that's all you need. All right, the first crown we're gonna make is this super simple crown right here. You're going to take a piece of origami paper that is six by six square, just like this. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it so that the pattern is facing the table. Now you're going to take a corner and fold it to the other corner so that it makes the shape of a triangle. With origami, you do want to try to be as precise as possible. That way your crown will fit together well as well as your shape will look nice. Once you've done the first fold, you're going to do the exact same thing again. Fold corner to corner so you have another triangle. It should look like this. In my crown, I've used one, two, three, four, five. Now, you may wanna fit them together as you go along to get an estimate of how many uh, triangles you'll need to make. For our second crown, as I mentioned, it's a little bit more challenging, but still not hard. This one you can actually secure without tape. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take another six by six piece of origami paper. You're going to lay it on your table so that the pattern is facing down. The first fold you're gonna make is along the flat edge to the other flat edge so that you will ultimately have a rectangle. Next, you're gonna fold it again the short flat edge to the other short flat edge. Now you have a square. You're gonna open it back up so that you should be able to see four squares that you folded, four creases. Next, you're going to take one top corner and fold it into your center fold point. Then you're gonna do the same with the other top corner, just like this, and fold it in to your center fold point. It will look like this. Next, you're gonna take your bottom straight edge and you're gonna fold it into your middle crease. So just to the bottom of those two triangles that you just folded, just like so. You're gonna take that same bottom edge and fold again using the middle crease as your fold. Looks a little bit like a hat already. Finally, you're going to take one side and fold it completely over to the other side, just like so. The last crown that we're gonna to make today is this crown here. 
Uh, it's a little taller, a little pointier, and a little more sinister, in my opinion, um, which I kind of enjoy. It is the most difficult of the uh, folds that we're going to be doing because it has more folds, and the folds are also a little bit tighter, um, but still fairly easy as or origami goes. Um, again, you're going to start out with your 6x6 six six piece of origami paper. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a corner point and fold it to the opposite corner point, just as you did in the first one, and make a crease so that you'll have a triangle. And then you're going to open it back up. Now you're going to take a side point and fold it into the middle so that it matches up with your original center fold. So it should look like that. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fold it into the middle so that it matches up with your original center fold. In my opinion, this is the hardest fold you're going to do just because you want to line this little point up pretty well, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bottom point here and you're going to fold it up until it creases right along this point. So fold it up just like that. Then you're going to take this point here and fold it down to the bottom fold. So it'll look like that. Last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bottom edge and you're going to fold it up to the middle and you're going to crease it along this fold here, just like so. Again, it looks a little bit like a hat already, just with a taller point. Finally, you're going to take one half and fold it over to the other and that'll be the way it looks in the end.